Oh snap, y'all. Ed just released multi threading. Oh boy, does it make a big difference on loaded scenarios. These are the settings that I'll be using in this video. In this video, I will be flying in VR on my high end PC, which is an i9 13900K with the 4090 video card. For this benchmark, I am using the Plasma Torture Map, in which you will find the link to in the video description, along with the texture pack. On the left is the new DCS multi-threading build. You'll notice that the image on the left is a little squash, which unfortunately is purely a visual artifact when recording VR. To your right is the ODCS single core build. The difference is pretty staggering in this test, I must say, and I really think this is the right way to benchmark since this is a pretty loaded scenario and it has a lot going on. Plus, I'm using a replay. This way, we can have nice, consistent results. I'm not going to post the footage unless requested, but I also took a look at performance on missions where nothing was going on. Like for example, if I just had like the Apache and a map, the performance was very similar between the two versions. It was a lot less staggering than what I'm showing in this video. This is the first incarnation of multi-threading. Perhaps things may be improved further, but for loaded scenarios and busy multiplayer servers, I think we can definitely expect to see a big difference as long as your CPU can keep up. By the way, heads up Steam users, be aware that you'll want to launch DCS from Steam. I noticed any shortcuts I had set up that directly link to DCS EXE and the new Ben MT folder didn't work. Make sure to look for the multi-threaded preview icon at the bottom right corner. Perhaps Ed will fix this soon. I am not sure. Standalone users, your shortcut should still work. Just make sure that you link directly to the EXE rather than the DCS updater. Check the fact for more info. All right, that's everything I wanted to say in this video. I'm just gonna let the replay keep going. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button since every little upvote helps. If you didn't like it, please let me know in the comments so I can improve. Thanks for watching.